first game of a tournament is always a little bit nervy. Um, you know, I remember back in the day in, in youth soccer uh, tournaments, you know, the first game is always, right? It's always a little bit nervy. So, you know, we expected a lot of the same. And, and we told the guys, um, you know, enjoy the experience. Um, you know, it's competition time. And, and I felt that we, um, you know, we slowly got out of um, the nerves and started playing. Over here. Greg, obviously you got a lot of production tonight from your wingers. You know, what was it about the way the game progressed that, that allowed them to be so effective? And, and then as a second question, what, what's Weston's status in terms of his injury? Weston should be okay. Um, it, it seemed like it was a little bit of a cramp. Uh, so we think he's all right. And then the wingers, we wanted to be aggressive getting behind their back line. Um, it was something that we talked about, um, you know, even in the Venezuela game. And and then leading into this tournament, we put a lot of emphasis on getting them involved, getting them behind the back line. And, and when we do that, we become dangerous. Yep. Please. What did you see specifically from that relationship between Weston and Tyler when he, they were both playing on the right, and also Nick? You know, getting getting pretty high on that side. Did, you, did that work? Kind of how you wanted it? To take it's you getting it? there. You know, the relationships are still building. Um, I think last game. Um, I'm just trying to think right now where Weston was last game. Yeah, Le Weston was on the other side last game, and now he's on the right side. So the relationships need to keep building. Um, there are some decent movements. Um, behind their back line, um, and we want to just continue to build on that. And, and I think the game, you know, as I'm saying, I think the game was a, a decent starting point, and not, you know, not much more than that. Yes, so what? Greg, can you speak a little bit about uh, the process of, of evaluating Michael through the week and a half of, of what he may have may not have been capable of and, yeah. and giving him the armband tonight as well. Yeah. No, it was tricky. Um, I think the the biggest concern was just pushing the minutes. You know, we know he hasn't played in a while. Um, and, you know, to go into the game with basically two planned subs is also very difficult because then you only have, you know, one extra guy. And it, as it turned out, Weston, Weston did go down. So, you know, that was our last sub. And, you know, you don't like to go into a game like that, but that is what it is. Um, he's been out a while, and we wanted to protect him. And, um, you know, we plan to take both him and Christian um, off at a certain time. The decision to make him captain tonight was an easy one. Um, you know, when you talk about nerves of a first, uh, first game in a tournament, you know, Michael's been through this, you know, probably a dozen times. So, you know, I, I told the guys to lean on him, you know, talk to, talk to him about uh, his experience. And, um, and so, you know, that's why, that's why I went with him tonight. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Coach, what went into the decision to start Zardes up top tonight, and how do you think he performed? So, you know, one thing that you're always going to get with, um, with Jossie is, is a work rate. And I thought he, you know, he worked really hard today. Um, you know, Josie's a player that is, um, is getting up to full speed. I think he's done a great job this camp. You know, when I talked to Josie before the Gold Cup and, and talked to him about some of the expectations for him, you know, he's exceeded every, every expectation that we had of him. Um, you know, really working hard. Um, great team guy, and um, you know we're excited to start integrating him. You know when you have two planned subs, it's very tricky to to start someone else that you're you know you, you're, you're thinking you're going to have to take off. So that was why um, Josie didn't start, and, and I think Jassy did a good job. Nate Abarea, Concacaf dot com. Uh, Greg, after talking to us last night, you actually made your way over to a fantastic local soccer pub in uh, the Blackheart and hung out with the American Outlaws and shared some conversations there. And I wanted to just ask you what those type of events mean to you on the night before a, a gold, gold Cup opener to be able to go and interact with the fans and actually have that level of connection with the people who support this team. Well, you know, I think the first thing was thanking them for, for their support and, and having them in the stadium. You know, I remember when, you know, when I was playing, it, it was just starting out. And, you know, th this fan club and to see how it's grown over the years has been amazing. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for them and how they support the national team program. And, um, you know, it was good to, to be able to interact and meet some of them up close and, and personal and get to talk to them. 
Yes, over here. What did you think of Jossie's goal? You know, it was a great reaction from him. Seriously. <laughs> A really good reaction. You see strikers, they can just smell things like that. I mean, it, it's funny. Um, you know, the two goals that he scored so far for us um, since I've been around was, uh, have been very interesting goals. Um, but, you know, he said, I talked to him after the locker room, he said he'll take it, and, and I don't blame him. I'd take that also. Um, you know, again, Jossie's a, a tremendous worker, a guy that you know exactly what you're going to get. Um, from in the game and um you know really proud of him and, and how he performed yeah we'll take two last questions the gentleman at the back uh boy really had a standout performance what is what's his potential and what did you think of his two goal performance on the night um you know, it's what we've been talking about, the verticality, um, the finishing, the, um, the work rate. You know, all those things is what we've been discussing. And um, I think it was a good start for him. Uh, Coach, your thoughts on what Reem gave you on the left tonight? He was solid. You know, we, we set it up where he didn't have to, um, you know, be attacking that much. But overall, I think he, he had a solid game. You know, when I evaluate the game, you know, we'll go back and watch the film and, and be more conclusive um, about the evaluation. But what I'd say is it was a it was a fine, decent performance. You know, we know we're going to keep improving. Um, you know, it's, it's a start that you can you can live with in the tournament. And we move on now to the next game against Trinidad.